my friends, welcome to the Vitruvian Life. Today is Friday, December 21st. It um, has been a couple of days. Um, we made, we filmed something, uh, I think Wednesday, when we set up our Christmas tree. Uh, but I'm not sure, I have to edit it and I'm not sure if it, I can make it into a complete video that might, is interesting enough. So I decided not to do that yet. Plus, I've been so tired last days the sleeping problem is getting out of hand uh been back to the hospital for a new appointment with the, i had a new appointment uh so we're doing some other medication stuff we'll see what happens to be continued because that's not what i wanted to talk about today so, um what i do want to talk about is something i just well i just did today um because uh, I listen to some to, to certain podcasts about board games, and in one in particular is uh, I guess it's my favorite one. It's called Blue Pick, Pink Pack, which is a podcast about board games, relationships, and the interaction between them. That's their slogan, um, and uh, they are fantastic. They're great. They uh, do an awesome job. I got to meet uh, two of the. Uh, Pegs, uh, two of the people who do the podcast. I met Rob and Christina at Spiel. I played a demo of a game there, of a prototype, and they are absolutely cool people. Very fun to be with, uh, very funny people as well. Now, they just did their, uh, I just listened to their last episode yesterday, uh, to their most recent episode, and they each time they do a review about a uh, game, a full fledged review. Uh, they explain the rules, they talk about the components, about the gameplay, about the price, uh, complete, complete thing. And they did that yes, uh, yesterday about this game called Coimbra. And Coimbra is, uh, well, it is a dice selection, dice action selection game with some, uh, with some, and I got it here, I think with some set collection and you want to move on tracks, you want to get influence in the city of Coimbra, uh, which is apparently in Portugal. I did not know that. I do know that now because of the podcast. So they did a review and they also score points. So they give points, uh, their opinion, and they have a scoring rating from zero to six. Zero being very bad, six being awesome. Uh, game collection essential and um, well they did that and they had a guest as well so there I think they were with five of them so five people gave this game a rating and they all gave it a six so <laughs> and that was the first time it happened on the podcast on that podcast that a game got all sixes so very highly rated by them. Now, I had my eye on this game for a while and I did not, never bought it uh, yet. And But it looked cool. The colors were nice and it looks cool on the table. Very nice looking game. And the thing that kept me from buying it was I wasn't sure if it added anything essential to my collection, anything new. And also the colors that you have four color dice. And the people that we play with the most, one of them is colorblind. So I'm, I wasn't sure if that would be a problem or not. But then they, then they gave that rating, that very high rating, and I was, I, I just couldn't resist anymore, because, and I don't know why. It's, is it because I trust their opinion? Maybe I do because I've been listening to them for a long time now, and I know what games they like and what games they don't like. And I know if that person of the show likes a game, um, I might like it because we have the same taste. And But all of them giving it a six was, was yeah, that was the trigger for me to buy it. So uh, I was lucky, a friend of mine sh went to the store today, to the uh, board game store and he, through WhatsApp on a group, he asked if somebody needed something. So I asked him to bring this game and I, after work, I picked it up at his place. So thank you for doing that, by the way. So yeah, 
I got very much influenced in buying this. I, I got another game as well. I asked him also to bring just one, which is a party game. Um, and this is a different story. So I saw a review of it. Or I heard someone talking about it very shortly on another podcast. I think Dice Tower podcast. And this was different because just they just explained the game. They, they said they like it, but it wasn't that very convincing all maximum score uh, review. It was just explaining the game and it sounded very cool. So I this one I decided because I really felt like this was something I would like in my to have in my collection. So a different reason. I got influenced as well because I saw it or I heard about it on the social media or podcast, some content creator. And uh, so that's why I bought it. Now, I was just wondering how influential are these podcasters, YouTubers and stuff like that. I am one and I know that peop some people in the past have bought games or a game uh, because I did a playthrough or I did a review or preview or unboxing or whatever of, of it. And sometimes it's it feels like uh, I have responsibility to those people because I'm the one being excited about the game and they buy it and maybe they don't like it. So that's also why I, I don't really do reviews Yet I, I do sometimes do a first impression, so I play a game and I give you my first impression of the game after one play, and uh, which I think is fair because I always say it, it's after one game. I might play the second time and just feel the same and just be boring. Uh, so, but still, I it's it's I remember when I started out uh, when I started doing this hobby, and uh, the first two channels that on YouTube that I w watched a lot was the Dice Tower, a lot of top 100s that I saw, and Rado. Rado runs through, play through. Uh, and I bought a lot of games because of that, of, because of watching their excitement, their enthusiasm. Um, and most of the time I was uh, all right. I did a lot of research most of the time before I bought a game, but sometimes they were so excited about the game that I bought it and it didn't work out for me. So I had to sell it or whatever, or trade it away. So I was wondering how you, uh, my dearest friends here on the YouTube channel, uh, how you react to these content creators that are excited about the product. Do you, are you influenced by them as well? Do you buy games because they are excited or do you just go uh, do a lot of research research and buy when you're sure that you want the game or do you really want to play a game first a demo at a convention or whatever before you try or before you buy the game before you spend that precious money so i was just wondering so this was really especially the coimbra i really got pulled in because of that very excited review by the blue pack pink pack crew so that's it for today let me know how you feel about this in the comments and uh, well if you want to see more on this channel feel free to subscribe feel free to like whatever it helps this channel a lot and uh, i thank you all and i'll see you uh, probably tomorrow again so thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye